earthquakes are striking Scotland, we had a magnitude 3.1 earthquake in the north. And today we had a Glasgow 3 magnitude earthquake striking. As we know, Scotland has Britain's super volcano. The highlands of Scotland and the beautiful landscape and the beautiful lakes are created from volcanic, ancient volcanic activity. As we know, the highlands were shaped by volcanism and that's why we have beautiful locks there, lakes. And this is the Glencoe supervolcano, as you can see. It's here snow-tipped. The Glencoe in Highlands of Scotland is the remains of an ancient supervolcano that erupted about 420 million years ago. Britain's volcanic fires may be no more, but remnants of the enduring eruptive past can be found throughout the country. And they shaped, of course, Britain's landscape. And... Uh, what we have here is an earthquake 3.1 in the north. This took place uh, 60, on the 16th of November. It was 10 kilometers depth, 17 kilometers west-northwest of, uh, west of Loch Gilped, United Kingdom, that is, in northern Scotland. So this was November 16. But then looking at uh, the, I wanted to go to the volcanoes of Scotland, and we have you know, on Volcano Discovery an earthquake of 3.1 just today. This was 10 hours ago at uh, two kilometers south of Glasgow, Monday, November 22nd, 2021. Let's take a look at the maps. Finally support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So this is today's earthquake. And uh, unknown event originally reported as an earthquake of 3 magnitude. Here it is. Depth 10 kilometers, 3 magnitude. Monday, November uh, 22nd. Local time in the morning, 11, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And it's in uh, Scotland. Okay. 3 point, ma three point magnitude. Let's go to, um, this is our, our size of Berkeley, and this is our, let's go in a little bit more to get rid of this. Okay. Um, I've been to Scotland. Actually, I was in Turnberry, which is owned by, it wasn't owned by uh, Donald Trump then, but it is now, a uh, very ancient golf course. And uh, it's uh, basically, Turnberry was around here. Where was it? Around here. And uh, well, there was a little island in between Scotland and Ireland. And then the halfway point and then there was Ireland. So um, beautiful, beautiful country. Beautiful. Uh, the uh, chickens were as big as turkeys and the sheep were almost as big as cows, calves. The cows were as big as horses because they eat all day long. They eat the green grass and they have beautiful clean water to drink. So this is the location of it. There's Glasgow. There's Glasgow. So it's about uh, how many miles? 20, 40, about 100 miles from the earthquake that took place on the 16th. Okay, so that's about uh, a week later. Here we are. 3.1 here, 3 magnitude here. Let's go to the... Uh, Hundreds, uh, there was not many people living there. We'll go to the population map. You'll see hardly anybody lives up there. There are mountains, you'll see. And uh, 103 people reported it nevertheless. And this is our map right here. This is the location of it right there. And you can see that this is just a, a barren, uh, barren island. There's nothing there, basically. Nobody lives there. A lot of locks anyway up there because it rains quite often, of course. And going back, some, uh, okay, that's a river right there. Some farming right here. Okay, and let's go in to our population. We'll see our density now. Where's the, the population? Population, sorry. Okay, Glasgow. That's 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 Glasgow right there. So this was the three point one on the sixteen, and the three magnitude today right there. Okay, let's go back to our 
topographic. Edinburgh and uh, Glasgow. Where's Glasgow? We can't see it anyway. Must be under the pop. Take the population away. Okay, there's Glasgow right there. Okay, right there, and Edinburgh's on the other side of the coast. I have, we had gone by plane to Edinburgh, and then we took a drive. A limousine took us to. to I was there for a seminar that my husband was giving, um, and uh, the ladies were taken around for three days uh, for touring. That was beautiful. So. What's going on there? Uh, both of them are 10 kilometers depth. And uh, as, as we know, that's is the location of the supervolcano. And this is it right here, Volcano Discovery. Nearby towns. Um, it doesn't show us the volcanoes, unfortunately. And this was translated from Greek. I don't know what happened to the uh, English. Okay, so this was just showing the earthquake. So all of you there, please be careful. What's going on there? This is um, is it has having to do is it having to do with our lun total lunar eclipse that we had on the weekend? Maybe because uh, eclipses do bring on earthquakes. But uh, this is uh, a very unusual event. This is our Glen Co on Wikipedia. The Glen of Volcanic Origins, Highlands of Scotland, in the north of the country, close to the border with the historic province of Lochaber. And uh, this is what it looks like, beautiful mountains there. Okay, this is the area that we're seeing here. And uh, let's go to our geology, the, uh, the face of Abadian near Biam. Now, geologically speaking, Glencoe is the remains of an ancient supervolcano, meaning that it had a super eruption. Eruption of volcanic explosivity index of VI8, VI8, the largest recorded value on the index. It means the volume of deposits for such an eruption is greater than 1,000 cubic kilometers. So it had such an eruption. The eruption happened about 420 million years ago, and during the Solarian period, okay, when we basically had Pangaea, that's Laurentia, northern uh, North, North America, okay? Uh, and the volcano has long since become extinct. The Glen is considered to be one of the best examples of a subsidence caldera. That means it, went, uh, it sunk into itself, being the place where this phenomenon was first described. A caldera is a volcanic process in which a circular fault allows a section of crust to sink leading to magma being forced to the surface at the periphery. This sinking allows layers of rocks which would otherwise have been eroded to remain visible, can be seen in Glencoe, most strikingly in Devonian volcanic lavas. The uh, geologic period between the system of uh, Paleozoic spanning 60 million years ago from the uh, end of the Solarian, 419 million years ago, so again, we had Pangaea there. It's amazing how many earth changes we had, right? There must have been devastatingly uh, extinction level events, obviously. Now, uh, volcanic lavas on Badian Nambian, this is it right here, as well as Zgor Nam Fianade, okay, and the bed in the bed of River Coe below, Coe below Loch Achtrachten. How did I say that? That came out nice. Surrounding the caldera, the rocks consisted of schist. And that's where we have garnet schist. I remember going to New <laughs> Jersey. We had gone to a, a, um, a, a national park and uh, we were given our geology professor gave us, you know, our tools, geology tools, picks and things, right? And we were like, what, 30 people on this beautiful field trip. And he says, that's garnet, garnet schist. And you have to find beautiful garnets in there. I don't know if that has garnets in there. The schist, let's see. Now, usually they're, they're uh, let's go in. Come on, come on. All right, anyway, there are little round blobs of uh, dark ruby type. And that's, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, let's see. Uh, what can we see here? Let's see. 
no schist. Uh, it looks like something like that, but it would be red. And uh, the people trailing behind us said, keep an eye out that nobody comes at us because we're going to start cutting these garnets out. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Uh, okay. The schist and quartzite with a ring of granite marking the main ring fault. The landscape was further shaped by the process of glaciation, of course, during the last ice ages, ending about 10,000 years ago. So that's, uh, again, more, more views of them. Devil's Staircase and more uh, Glencoe images right there. Another one from camping in 1931. Okay, so this is the very strange situation here. Okay, on the 16th, 3.1, and today, 3.0 in Glasgow. Uh, it's not been marked on Sizemore Berkeley. Maybe they'll put it on later. I'm sure a lot of people must have reported feeling that there. Okay, all, please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. All of you there, please be very aware and alert. Thank you.